It wasn't until mud puppies started washing up dead on riverbanks that biologists became concerned about them. This summer, for the second time since 2002, the Vermont Endangered Species Committee recommended adding the mud puppy to the state's endangered species list. The request was denied. I received a recommendation from the Endangered Species Committee to list this species, and, um, and my internal staff disagreed. They felt like the evidence just wasn't there to list this species. The threat to mud puppies is lamprecide, used to kill sea lamprey. In 2009, 500 mud puppies were found dead after the pesticide was used in the Lamoille River. And so the question is now... The problem, know. says Deb Markowitz, there's not enough proof of a significant decline of mud puppies because of lamprecide. Ask them to show me, show me where the evidence is mm -hmm. that would allow me to meet that standard. And they didn't. One of the challenges in finding out how many mud puppies there really are is that they're very secretive. They spend most of their time at the bottom of rivers under rocks, they're nocturnal, and the best time of year to sample them is actually the winter. Last time we put this water... Bill Kilpatrick, a zoology professor at UVM, thinks the current research is enough for them to be on the list. There have been some further studies, some mark recapture work uh, that was done on the Lamoille River uh, that clearly indicated a significant uh, decline in uh, the number of females. The source of contention may be in how the state interprets what is scientifically significant. The Agency of Natural Resources is using Vermont statute to guide their process, while the Endangered Species Committee uses the statute and secondary criteria. All animals or all species are not equal. Um, we have different sampling procedures and different levels of data. And until the state and the Endangered Species Committee can agree on how much information is enough and whether it's significant, the mud puppy will continue to be the focus of further monitoring. For ECHO and News Channel 5, I'm conservation correspondent Bridget Butler.